The Coachella Valley Unified School District is discussing its past, present, and future. The district hosted a State of the District ceremony today for the first time in 11 years. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura has highlights from the event and a look at the plans for the future. We do spend most of our lives at school. Coachella Valley Unified School District leaders gathered at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino Wednesday morning with one goal in mind. How can we as a village really uh, come together to continue to support our students moving forward? CVUSD Superintendent Dr. Luis Valentino says he wants to focus on students' academic success while offering support as they move past challenges. We've spent a great deal of time identifying and supporting the trauma that has existed as a result of the pandemic. What do we need to do to prepare them? While we still pay attention to the aspect of the social emotional that is part of our students experience. We also heard from current and former students who are thankful for the opportunities that CVUSD has provided. Every month I would attend to the district office and I would uh, just report how things are going in school, the attitudes of the students, my peers, even teachers sometimes had some things to say and you know I'd be, I was happy to report all of that. I graduated from high school uh, 2015, five years later I joined the school board, uh, three years later I'm school board president and uh, I'm a product of this district, right, and, and I see myself as a, as a success story of, of CVUSD um, and just like myself there's a there's a lot of other uh, classmates like myself that are doing amazing things. As the district reflected on the past and present they also made an announcement for future expansion. We're actually opening up um, soon uh, a, our new North Shore School. Um, it's actually going to bring our community um, in the East and um, a school to them so that the, we've long awaited for and that everyone's excited about. The district is hoping to open that school by fall of 2025. In Thousand Palms, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. Last month, News Channel 3's Peter Now was able to sit down with the district superintendent, Dr. Luis Valentino, to learn more about the changes the district is making to try to improve the safety of its students. You can find that story and more back-to-school coverage on the district at KESQ.com.